Today we're going to give you a demonstration of what we do every day making feed at Griman Brothers. Right now you're seeing our feed truck, which is what we mix everything in. This truck's got big mixer augers inside of that batch. It's also got a scale on it, it's hooked to a computer. And you can see the young man that just walked over to the loader, he's got an iPad in his hand. And that iPad tells him exactly what he needs to put into each and every batch. He knows where this batch is going to go, he knows what pens it's going to feed, he knows the weights of those cattle, and how much they're going to get. So right now you got a shot of our feed area. He's loading up yearlage right now, which is where we get a lot of our energy from for the cattle. We're going to be using hay, silage, modified distillers, which is where we get our protein from and comes from the ethanol plants. And then we also have what we call a balancer. It's got the proteins, it's got minerals, it's got our trace minerals, and that's all designed based around the types of feed that we use. We know exactly what cattle need. We know what their energy requirements are. We know what their proteins, trace minerals, much like we know what we need to have. We're gonna take care of these cattle the same way. So therefore, right now, he's got this batch started. It's mixing up. He's grabbing some silage right now off the silage pile. So we're making sure that we get them the proper energy that they need, which is coming from the corn. The protein, like I said before, is coming from the distiller's grains from the ethanol plant. And then the fiber, which is coming from the hay, and the silage. And so we know exactly what we need to do with these cattle to maintain the proper gut health and to get them what they need so that they're performing the way we want them to perform. Now every batch is a little bit different. The reason for that is cattle are at different stages of their life. You've got cattle that are five to 600 pounds who are needing more protein, more fiber, less energy. And then you've got cattle that are needing more energy because they're at the final stages of their life and they're becoming market ready cattle. Those cattle are getting more corn because of the starch and the energy, and actually less protein because they're getting mature in size, they're not putting any more muscle on, and they're just not growing anymore. Their nutrient requirements also change in terms of trace minerals and their vitamins, and so we've got different balancers that we use for different cattle at different stages of their life. Right now you can see he's out there feeding the different pens. We know exactly how much feed we want to feed each pen, it's all recorded into the system that we use for tracking. There's an iPad in that truck with him right now, and we're basically watching how many pounds of dry matter every pen needs, because we want to keep them on a really even diet. We don't want to overfeed them, we don't want to underfeed them. And so every day we're monitoring how clean the bunks are, how hungry they are, if we should feed them more, or if we're to a point in a stage in their life that we want to hold them steady. So right now he's going to head back and make another batch, and this gives you an idea of what we do every day at Griman Brothers Feeding Cattle.